anyways, I am working with you naked. Oh, snap! And welcome back to my channel for today's video. I'm going to do a short tutorial on this look Just the eye part though and a little bit of face Yeah, I am working with the naked urban decay heat palette It's my first time using it on myself. I think it's my first time. I used it before on my sister And I messed around with it a little bit. But I don't think I've created a look with it. I don't think so I've had this for a while. Yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe, like, comment down below what you want to see next. Okay, moving on. Alright you guys, so as you can see, I already did my foundation, my eyebrows, and the one eye for you just to get things out of the way. Uh, for foundation, I used the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. I did a video on this. It's the one right before this one if, you were, if you're interested on how it wears. Check that out. I'll link it down below also. Right now, I'm in the shade M50 and M10. I couldn't find one um, in between it that matches well, so I, have, I had to mix these two for my fall transitioning into winter shade. Um, for eyebrows, I'm still using the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. Love this. I also did a video on this, and I'll link that below. Also, for the eyes today, I am working with the Naked Urban Decay... Decay... Urban Decay Heat Palette. I got this so long ago. I don't even remember when I got this. But I've only used it once on my sister. So this is the first time I'm playing around with it. And this is the eye look that I came up for you guys. This is um, kind of a fall-ish burgundy warm tone. It's not really burgundy. Like burnt orange, I would say. Um, for... Actually, I would wear this anywhere. But gonna title this video for Thanksgiving yeah so this is what I came up with the lashes that I'm wearing are by this girl here in Philly her name's Holly if you're interested I'll leave her link down below also her brand is called lash addict can't really see the lash addict part this is in the style savage Let me just take the lashes out and those are the lashes. Very nice, right? I love this. But yes, let's start. I know you guys like shorter videos, so I did all the hard part for you. Um, we are going to go in first for the eyes. I'm going to use the shade Sauced, which is that one there. Oh, hello. Um, use any... You can use a bronzing powder if you have it, like your face bronzer. Like the... What is this one called? The Benefit Hula. Usually I use this for my transition shade, but we're going to go with this one for today um, since we're working on with this palette. But I'm going to apply this all over my lid, above my crease, and then I'm going to drag it up towards my, the corner of my eyebrow here. I have a very bubbly eye lid, like it, this skin part kind of bubbles over. Let me put that back in. But yeah, um, I have a lid, I have a crease. But this part here, whatever that's called, kind of... I don't have a deep set eyes, eyes, eye. I really want deep set eye though, but... Kind of work with your eye shape. I like monolid eyes too, because you can like really create different creases with it and different look. I'm gonna apply this shade all over. This one is my very, very trusted. I had this for almost 10 years now. See, BH Cosmetics blending brush there's no number or anything on that i don't even know if they still carry this they probably have better ones out on their site now my dog is in here and he's like licking his butthole but the same brush i'm going to use only the tip i'm going to go in with the color low blow which is one right next to it that one there i'm going to work this into the crease and i'm going to hold my brush up like this so that i'm only getting the tip of the brush and this is going to go right into my crease that's just to create some dimension. I'm gonna go in with a few more layer. All right. Okay, next I'm gonna take this flat shader brush here. It's flat blending brush, it's the Sedona EB09. It's flat like that, but it's fluffy. I'm gonna take the shade, what, what was it? K Cayenne, Cayenne, Cayenne. <laughs> Which is this orange there deep orange 
and I'm going to take it with my brush flat and I'm going to work this on my lid starting with the outer corner I'm kind of going to put this all over my lid all the way in with padding motion to get the most uh, payoff color payoff I think that's good and then with my finger I'm going to go in the color umber which is that last shade there and I'm going to press this right on top and there we have it the top eye is done for the bottom lash line I'm going to go in with the color in fuego which is this brick red right there and I'm going to really smoke up my lash line I like my bottom lash line to come down pretty far if you don't like that style then by all means don't go it don't go it don't drag it down too far but I like a really smoked up bottom lash line so i'm gonna pretty much drag this all the way down if i'm looking down you'll see my crease where it folds which is like right there that's how far i'm gonna bring it down i've been contemplating or thinking about having my sister come on my channel and doing her makeup for you guys because she has a different eye shape than me and skin texture and all that stuff so i was wondering if you guys want to see me do makeup on other people let me know. I'll have her come on here. She does have her own YouTube channel and I'll link that below. Um, but yeah, let me know. Okay, next I'm going to take the shade... What did I take? Cayenne. Cayenne. And I'm going to run this right over it just to blend it out. We're almost done, guys. We are almost done. Would have been shorter if I wasn't talking, right? This is the Milani Supreme Cold Kajal. I am going to tight line, water line, both top and bottom. I'm going to drag it down into my lash line a little bit down to the top and then we're going to smoke that out with the color ashes which is the very deep burgundy that one there it's a really tiny pencil brush and really smoke that line out mm -hmm. that's it that's it i'm going to add the highlighter which is just my face highlighter that i use every single day and this is wet and wild and precious petals i know you guys i'm being repetitive this is why i don't do beauty videos anymore if you follow me on my vlog channel i explain all of that in one of my vlogs i'll link that down below also but i'm just going to take this and highlight the corner you can wet it if you want it to be more intense but i am good with that okay i'm going to add some glue to my lashes and some mascara and be right back okay you guys i was gonna put my lashes on and come back for you guys but you know what we're just gonna move on in while that dries i'm gonna go ahead and contour and blush and all of that stuff still using my cotton one d cut one d shade light palette um i'm just gonna mix all three shades i've been liking the combination of mixing all three shades and then i pull my hair back and i contour Snatch that forehead, girl. Snatch it. Those light bulbs behind me get really hot, and I really hope that it's not burning my fur. Bring it down. Get that jawline, girl. My natural lip color is really pink. And then what I like to do to really get a chiseled bone, cheekbones, whatever. I'll take in the darkest shade in that palette. I, th I think it's subconscious. I'm gonna think it's subconscious. And with a very small, this is a blush brush actually. I'm going to put my finger right below it, like a centimeter below it. Kind of, you see that? I'm gonna blend that right in there. I'm gonna do a slight nose contour and use the middle shade from the palette. And I'm just gonna go very lightly i don't like a heavy nose contour my nose is like really flat um so when i do a heavy nose contour it's just like very obvious and then i like to do like a cut here to make this part pop out a little you see that mm -hmm. uh -huh. do i want a blush I'm not gonna do blush. I don't think I'm gonna do blush. Nope. I'm gonna spray my face first before I do highlighter. This is the, oh, actually, you know what? Let's do our lashes before it dry. We're gonna do this together. I like to start with the inner corner. I 
and then work my way out. And I've been loving the no eyeliner look lately, so that's why there's no... Someone called me. It's the same number that's been calling me for weeks now, but they just don't leave a voicemail, so I don't call them back. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. This is just so easy to do. It's such a simple look. I wouldn't really wear this anywhere. But okay, I'm gonna spray my face now. I'm gonna cover my eyes. This is the Rev Revlon Photo Ready Prep Set and Refresh. There we go. And while my face is kind of damp, <coughs> I swallowed that a little bit. <coughs> I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. <coughs> we gonna highlight. You guys see how I just pretend to like ain't nothing bothering me? Ain't nothing bothering me. Here we go. Sorry I'm a little like all over the place today. I had a cup of coffee, guys. I just recently started drinking coffee like the last few weeks. Yeah, check out my vlog channel. I'm pretty funny. I think I'm pretty prendy. Um yeah. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna do a little chin. Cupid's bow. I'm gonna take my ring finger. Try to get this as straight as possible because I don't have a bridge and it's so easy to like. <sighs> the preschool kids are out. I have a preschool right next door. We're done, guys. We are done. For lips, I'm using this Fenty Beauty uh, Plush Matte Lipstick, Mademoiselle. Is that the name of it? No, it's in the shade. Single. I got this also a while ago and I just never use it. It's just I don't really reach for my like high-end makeup, you know, because it's expensive. You know, I ain't trying to use it all. But we are gonna use this today. It's just this beautiful nude and I think it will go perfectly well with our eye look. I know for Thanksgiving, a lot of us try to wear like darker lips, like a plum or a red. Um, but girl, Thanksgiving, I'm eating, I'm chowing down. I'm not trying to get lipstick all on my chin, like smear it across my face. So wow, this is like picking up a lot more orange. Yeah, so if I'm doing like family stuff or anything that requires a lot of eating, I use a lighter lipstick so it's not as no noticeable to clean up or fix your lipstick with. But this is still very orangey. I'm gonna go in with this NYX Lingerie in a bedtime flirt and kind of tone it down a little bit. It's taking out really orange. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is a one lip option if you don't like this. Should I show you guys another lip option? Nah, I'm gonna keep it like this, girl. Uh, I'm gonna do my hair and I'll be right back. By the way, guys, when I say I'm gonna do my hair, I mean like, I just slick it down a little. I don't really do my hair. My hair is like way too long to curl or anything. So I usually just sleep with braids the night before to get some texture and uh, that's it. That is, that's it, that's my hair. Hmm. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little tutorial. I try to keep it as short and simple as possible possible i think the eye look is pretty easy to do Ooh, let me fix this lash mm. yeah anyways uh, there we go that's the final look i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something and i hope i helped you out a little bit i don't even really know how to do this anymore you guys <laughs> you guys are all beautiful in every single way in your own way please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and of course let me know down below what other videos you're trying to see i'm on a budget so i'm not keeping up with the trends what's going on what's coming out uh my next purchase is a new palette a few new palettes that i palettes that i have in mind which is the sultry anastasia i don't really like the huda nude palette i don't like the shades on there i feel like a lot of those shades will not show up on my skin color so 
I pass on that. But I like this. I like the Anastasia Sultry one. Um, and I'm gonna pick up a few Kylie Jenner products, and it's gonna be my first Kylie Jenner product. You guys want to haul? Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. By the way, you guys, if you're wondering how it looks with a red lip, I think it works too. I use Madame in Fenty Beauty.